Hey guys, welcome to my space. It's been such a long time. Wait, I can explain. So, like, my phone basically is no more, right? And I had to wait to like get a replacement basically. And during that time where I didn't have a phone, um, I had to use this. And we all know that the camera quality of this is something I cannot hop on. It's just something I cannot hop on. Honestly, I think this is the um, Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime Plus. And child, this is an old phone, okay? So we cannot work with this. So I had to wait until I get a new phone. And I am back with another video. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about 10 uh, series that I really like on Netflix, that I really like binging on. Um, yes, my top 10. Um, I'm going to be going from 1 to 10. But I didn't really put them in order in terms of like what's like the best one that I really like versus the worst. Um, it's just basically just the top 10. Um, it's not in order. Yeah, let's get into it. It's gonna be lit. So let's get to it. series that i really like watching is dear white people dear white people honestly i started watching this series before i hopped on to netflix like, um i just started i i loved it so much because obviously um talking about black lives matter and the type of like you know environment this the main character is in you know in college and experiencing these different race and all of that you know so um yeah i really i really like that uh number two will be never have i ever i know people are gonna attack me from for watching never have i ever just because like i know i'm too old to watch this but like guys i'll never get old for watching like teenage drama series there's always drama there's always romance and it's just like fun to watch and this is something i love this is something I love watching with like my younger sister. So do you understand? Like I enjoy watching it with her. She she loves the show. Therefore, I also really love the show. Number three on the list is Rick and Morty. Now, I don't feel like I need to, you know, say too much about Rick and Morty just because everybody knows the show. Like if you are watching Netflix on a daily basis, you already know the show. If you don't know the show, girl just go watch it like just just go watch it like you're wasting time like there is nothing greater okay there is other things that you can watch but like like you might as well go watch it the hype is necessary like just go watch it this is one show that like i can watch when it's released and watch five months after it's released like i can watch it on repeat number four is love death and robots now i think a lot of people can find this show very like confrontational but i just feel like um it is so interesting to watch because each and every single um episode touches on um how technology will be affecting us in the future and i feel like that's such an important topic because Yes, um, we are going to a great place as like, you know, as like a people and um, biotechnology is amazing. But obviously, at some point, it's going to affect us. And basically, Love, Death and Robots is an animation that like touches on that. I love animation. So anything that has to do with animation, I'm on it. Um, and the fact that this animation is talking about like serious topics like each and every episode is just good it's clean it's another like you know series that i could watch five months later 
and still be interested and number five is black mirror and i feel like black mirror is so similar to love death and robot black mirror is basically like obviously like the real life version of basically technology how technology will be affecting us in the future and love it love it love it. so my number six is um glow up so if you're someone that loves makeup like me as you can see <laughs> if you're someone that loves makeup um if you're someone that like watches competitions glow up is is definitely um something you should you know try watching you know it's very it's very challenging, you know, every single episode, they challenge the MUA to like, basically, you know, channel the inner, you know, artist, you know, like, and I just feel like, you know, even though as a person, I feel like competitions put you under so much pressure, I just feel like it's so interesting to watch because you kind of see where like the makeup industry is going and if you're not like a person that is that knows anything about makeup you will know that makeup has so many um different categories different aspects you know it's makeup is not a, just about glam it's about so many so many other styles of like you know um there are so many other styles of doing makeup so yeah now my number seven child my number seven is how to get away with murder okay now this show i think i watched it when i was like high school i started watching it when i was like i think ninth grade high school and can i tell you from like the first episode that i started watching this it was amazing like viola davis is just like doing the most and i just love that show like and yo she just did justice she just did justice and everybody else that was on the show was amazing like it keeps you on edge it is just amazing so my number eight is jane the virgin now jane the virgin is a very cute very fun um series um it's you know it's it's very like calm you know it it's one of those uh, series like that I like watching when, you know, I'm not doing anything. I'm just chilling. I don't want anything too intense, anything that's going to make me think a lot, you know, just to pass time, you know. So um, I think it's it's very fun. It's very like laid back um, how they talk about a young girl going into, you know, adulthood and trying to figure out her life, you know her romance partners family you know that whole combination i think is very cute and i think it's one show you can just you know sit lay back and enjoy my number nine is blood and water another teenage series i just love these like i just i just honestly like i love teenage series like i remember watching gossip girl for the longest time in high school and I haven't changed. Like, I realized I haven't changed. Um, Blood and Water is, I think, for, like, a South African film, is just really good. Uh, and I, I think a lot of South Africans haven't, like, don't appreciate this show just because um, they complain of how, like, the film industry has grown so much and how, like, the story has been told before, you know, and I just feel like we should appreciate this um, series just because um, South Africa is growing somewhere in terms of the film industry, you know. Um, I mean, if you look at Kings of Joburg, you know, they they channel a lot of things that is connected to Africa, that is connected to how people, like how the rest of the world sees Africa. And I just feel like South Africa is growing somewhere in terms of film and we need to appreciate it and support it you know complaining about it is not gonna help you know but contributing supporting and helping our country go somewhere in terms of the film industry i think blood and water is something i'm definitely supporting and that is it okay and my final my number 10 is basically the good doctor so the good doctor um 
I don't even know how to explain this, but it's it's basically if you like if you like you know like medi series yes medical series so the drama between medicine um romance lifestyle if you like that type of you know content the good doctor is definitely it i think it's very good the way it was produced the main character like the main character is just doing the most because yeah like i'm not even gonna spoil it for you but like the good doctor is something that i really like watching also like i binge on it laid back when i'm not really doing anything i'm definitely one person that likes a uh, medical series because it's interesting you know it's interesting if i'm not watching that i'm watching like investigation um series and if i'm not watching that i'll hop on like you know chicago meds you know these these medi series are very interesting so i think out of all that i've watched out of all the like medi series that i've watched before i think the good doctor is pretty good like it's 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 a it's really good it's like really good there's nothing else to say um i was gonna put house um md or yeah house i was gonna put a house but um it's really not on netflix house is um also a medi series that i used to watch um in high school and it's really old but it's one of the series that like i like the way they built the main character rather than like having like three main characters where like you don't really know who to concentrate on but yeah medi series are just i i definitely for me i don't want to lie to you uh, the good doctor is definitely something you need to hop on if you are a fan of medical series and yeah that is it guys for this video Go to like comment subscribe and girl until next time next time